We're here on Broad Street, known as Gibson Boulevard. These are 32 BJ workers. Some 2,000 of them voted this afternoon to authorize a strike if they don't reach come to terms with the property managers, some 500 property managers throughout the state. And the committee representing these workers is representing some 7,000 workers. These are cleaners and janitors cleaning some 500 buildings. Their contract expires two weeks from today. The contract negotiation started two months ago from today. So they're really eager to get something done. Some of the big issues here, wages, of course, insurance, and so forth. Uh, Brendan, let's now go try to find E. Daryl Vaughn. She's on the negotiating committee. She's also been a cleaner at the Prudential Center for the past 12 years. E. Daryl, are you ready to strike? Yes, I'm ready to strike. Tell me why. We're, I'm ready to strike for more wages, benefits, and no give back. What are the negotiations like right now? It's not going good right now. Tell me why. Because they want us to pay for our medical insurance, and we're not paying for our medical insurance. We cannot afford to pay for our medical insurance on the salary that we make. You sound steadfast about this. Yes, I am. This is, sounds like something that you're not going to move from, that you're, that you're saying that, look, if this doesn't happen, we're going to have a strike. Yes, if it doesn't happen, we're going to strike. You're going to strike. Now, this vote this afternoon, what message does that send? We're sending a message to the building owners that we mean business and we're not going to pay for our medical insurance and we need more money. Have you prepared for a strike in terms of saving money and so forth? We're prepared for a strike, but we got to do what we have to do. Have to do. That's Edurl Vaughn there. She's on the negotiating team. Edurl, thank you very much. She's uh, one of many on this negotiating team. They've been going at it now for the past two months. And as you heard her say, it's not exactly going well. The contract expires two weeks from tonight. That's New Year's Eve. We have asked for compliment comments there from the property managers. One told us this afternoon, no comment. They have not talked about this. They have given statements, but today they said no comment.